Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with another Paladins video We're playing some Zin today. And this is a thing I never really said before, I don't think, in a video, but I haven't seen very much Zin lately. And the music kind of was weirdly timed with that, but I would like to see more Zin in my matches. Very weird for me to say that, because usually he's one of the characters I don't like going against, and typically he's not very fun to play against, but I kind of miss him, and I haven't really seen him in the past week, even though sometimes it can be kind of fun to go against a good Zin if they're not insanely good, because playing the timers can be kind of fun especially having him on your team and stuff. Quick intro, not going to do too much explaining here at the start, we're just going to jump into game one and run some Zin, go out and play him for yourself, even though I feel like I'm going to regret that later. Uh, his builds are kind of insane, I haven't really tweaked them since last time, but when you actually look at them, they look kind of like mean builds. 75% reset, 50% movement speed, 70% reset on the limbs, they're crazy cards. Um, he's really, really quite strong build-wise, and talent-wise, not so much. And that's kind of weird, because I remember Zin being really strong in the talents, but they nerfed Guillotine a couple times, Yomi got moved around, and like, I think some of it got put into his base. I can't remember exactly the whole history of Zin right now, but these talents don't feel that crazy and don't really change too much of what you're doing with Zin most of the time. You know, counter tank, consistent damage, or healing. They do make a difference. They are still talents that feel good, but compared to the cards, the power level is very weird. All right, so for game on, on Swap Mortal Support, we've got a Ceres, Betty, Fernando, and a Ray versus Vatu, Makoa, Ash, Genos, and Victor. Shout out to the Ceres. She popped a skin booster, which is why I'm using the Kazoo skin. Kazu, I don't know how you're meant to pronounce it. I think I missed this spawn originally. I don't remember playing with it or, uh, you know, recording a video on it, but. I could just be wrong with that. But we'll go Guillotine because they have a Makoa and an Ash. I feel like, yeah, it just makes the most sense here for sure. And then probably the setup with the Builder reset. I don't feel like we need the extra health. I'm probably better off just going for this sort of thing. It should be easy to land the right clicks. We don't need the speed as much. Yeah, this seems like the right thing to go for. And this is definitely a skin I haven't played with because I really would remember this, I think. The weapon looks sick. Definitely have not played with this before because it really does look very, very different. This is actually a really, really cool Zen skin. And uh, I don't know why I didn't cover it. I think just the Gen Lock ones, which I think uh, the series that this is from, right? Uh, I just missed, and I can't remember why, but... Fire Dispersion, Sock Collector, Focus, Aegis, Slug Shot, Binary Star, Cardio Engineering, and Plaque. We're going to focus the tanks and try and just be annoying with Zin. That didn't hit. That shows you the service step. There's a Billow. I was expecting the hook. I guess I dodged the Ash knock. Could have got back on with the F. I was purposely saving it in case something bad happened. Dead to the Victor Nade combo. Try and jump him. Yep, saw, see if we can get the combo. He's not too hard to get rid of. The Genos is going for the grip there. Sure, there's a counter. I don't know what I'm aiming at. There's a Q. The Q is very, very obvious. Shouts, uh, Ceres for the heal, but it's also really distracting just seeing the weapon move when I move my camera because I play Zin kind of hectic. It's actually throwing me off. The Billow is very, very obvious though, which I think is quite a bit different from the normal stuff you see with Zin, just because people run the tryhard stuff and I don't want to be very obvious in the queue. I personally don't pay attention to like skins being better or worse gameplay wise because I'm just playing casual stuff uh, for ranked. I don't think this would be the play, but saying that, it does look really, really cool. Like, actually, effect-wise, this skin, I don't think I've ever actually really seen very much in games, because I don't remember it, and it's very, very unique. There goes the Vato. I've got the ultimate. I'm not going to use it here. There's no reason to. Let's get rid of the Ash here. Seems like kind of a free game if the team keeps playing like this. I push in. There's a right click. Thanks for the free counter, but yeah, I really am liking this. Way more than I thought I would, because I just didn't really think it would have that unique of an effect set. Because I remember playing the Mave one. It wasn't that unique. Definitely covered some of the other ones as well from the same set, but this one is definitely the best out of the ones I can remember. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That kind of missed. The JavaScript is very, very annoying, even though no one's really hitting me when he grabs me. I'm just kind of chilling. I I got the ult here. I guess we go for the ult on the Makoa. Is that going to reach? Yes, he should be dead, right? Nice. Camera glitched a bit, but uh, getting some benefit from the guillotine. Tried to right click. It did pop up for a little second. Didn't actually go out, though. We'll get more Kronos, armor plating, and nimble. Just the standard sort of Zin stuff. I feel like damage reduction is probably better than going for speed at the game. I feel like you can, like, delay nimble a little bit and go for Kronos and Haven. Uh, it's not even Haven's armor plating. I keep calling it Haven just because the icon, but uh, that shows you the level of Paladin's brain. What I'm on, let's just get some big hits. There's a right click. If that landed, there's a Q. We can just walk past that. There's a counter again. They did actually recover it. Props to them, but we are doubling their score. There goes the Genos. Just one last little hit. There we go. Getting the timing can sometimes be a little bit jank. There's a right click. Um, what am I getting hit by? The Ash is there. I didn't even realize. We'll dip an F and a cross. Heal, maybe. Ceres, please. There's a counter. I'm scared. That didn't hit him because he dashed through me. I'm somehow still alive here, though. Ceres, can you right click me? That would be great. Uh, where is the Ceres? She's back at spawn. What was happening? Where's Ray as well? We have two healers. Kind of hard for me to explain because usually you can play the timers pretty easily because people are healing you in between when you've got your timers and stuff. But uh, this time around, it doesn't reflect really like that's what's happening. Let's just dash across. I nearly got myself killed there. We dodged the Vat. Oh, okay. I say dodge. He did just do it into a wall. The Makoa's not even going to keep chasing me. We're fine. Don't feel like I'm playing Zim particularly well. Let's see if we can get rid of the Victor. Did that land? Did I actually track him well there? I don't know. That's a Ceres ult. That was solid. There goes the Genos. Uh, hello, Makoa. We'll just dash through and finish him off here. This should be kind of free. I'm also going to ult the Ash. Is she in range? She is. But there we go. Nice. I should be ulting the Ash because she somehow has more health than the Makoa here. Hello, Victor. Didn't see you. My reaction time there was terrible. I was too busy looking at the cards. We killed him and I queued for no reason. Does that reset go through? No, it doesn't seem to work like the Andro thing. There's a little inspect again on the weapon though as we wiggle away. Never mind. <laughs> I got pulled away from the inspect 
suspect we're dead. I could have probably counted that. We'll get more credits, finish it off. Don't think I went for the items in the right order. There goes the Vat, who's just trying to run away. But I think the speed and the actual just ability spam is going to be better than trying to stay targetable in these fights. I should just try and right click and Q and not be hit instead of mitigating damage. Kind of hard to say what's actually going on in this one. There's a counter. I used all my kit just to try and run away. But uh, there we go, body him. Hello, Victor. You're also here. Did I land that hit on him? I don't know. I think we can win this fight, right? Just slash and then finish him off. He's just going to try and run. Okay, Zin is definitely working here. I just don't feel like I'm really showing him at full potential because of what this match is. Hello, Victor. Uh, counter? No, his grenade didn't activate that either. I'm just going to try and distract him. There's a Q. I think we're fine. Sarah's so heal. Nice. I've got the ultimate. Do we go for it? That's a Victor ult. That's fine. I think we can outrun that with the speed from the right click. Kind of did. Okay, yeah, sure. We just wasted an entire Victor. Ray is uh, doing something. Hello, Genos and Vatu. Counter. Genos is just gripping me every time. It's honestly super annoying. I have the ult where I use it on the Vatu. As you're probably able to see, this game is kind of frying my brain in real time. We got a double hit there, but I can't really fight them when they're all that grouped. I got some life rip because I'm not really getting many heals here, so I think it kind of makes sense. We are occasionally getting a heal from the Ceres and the Ray. They're not doing nothing, but uh, definitely could be doing better. We're going to go for the ultimate. That missed. I really didn't think they were all going to run away there. Uh, counter hit. There's a little spin combo on the Vatu. There's a Q. Shout Ceres for the heal. Just going to ignore the Ash and try and get rid of these two. Right click hit. No, that's an Ash ult. Nearly finished her off. There we go. Nice. Somebody stunned. I think that was a Ceres right counter hit. Finish off the Vatu, maybe. The Victor and the like, Genos are just here for some reason. Okay. Hello, Mako. When Mako is super separate, we seem to just shred him. Ash is going in here with the F. We're going to go for the ult. Stop her from doing that. Actually caught the Ash mid-air with the ultimate. I don't know if I've done that before. A little bit silly. Counter hit. They're actually just missing my counter. I don't know if they're even doing it on purpose. There's a Billow. That's the Ash going in here with the F again. She's going to make the same exact play, I reckon, with the ult. Yeah, tried to finish her off, but she actually got it off that time. Hello, Vatu. Counter hit. Full combo, finish him off. There we go. That's Zin moments right there for you. A couple, like, back-to-back, -back, I think. He's just going to fall off the map. Okay, I just spanned my cute ammo at the same time to try and get one off, and we're fine. Yeah, sure. Also seems like there's, like, PlayStation symbols and stuff, like, in the effects, which I didn't really notice, but... Yeah, matches the spray. I like this skin way more than I thought I would. Victor's still in the automatic. I always look at the duration on that. It's pretty long. He's not going to hit into my counter. Chase him down, finish him off here. Genos grip. That's fine. Q out of it. Really wish I could get out of the bill up early sometimes just to finish the full combo here on the Genos. That counter didn't work. The Vatu ult went through my counter somehow. Gonna go for the ultimate here to make sure that we get the win. I might as well. There we go. 395. This should be guaranteed. There's a counter. Nice. There's a below two. Timing on that was kind of close. Life rip has been kind of useful. There's another counter. Uh, spin. Sure. None of that triggers life rip, by the way. For some reason, I thought my counter hit might have life rip effects on it, even though it obviously doesn't. Fernando is off the map. Mako, I think, hooked him. Ray is just kind of giving up. We're gonna just ignore the Ash. Try and push through. Hello, Victor ult. Uh, get some more taps on him here. There's a Q. He's very, very low. Somebody finished him off. Nice. Victory. I was a little bit worried we were going to lose that right at the last second there. I think I did work on Zim, but that was a very, very weird game. I think the gameplay put it better than I can my words at the end of this one. But we did all right. 22 to 8. 97k. Happy with that stat overall. We did fine. But the stats aren't even bad on our side. I felt like I was really struggling. But yeah, we did fine. Fernando's stat is kind of low. But Sarah's put in work at the end there, stats-wise. And uh, Sarah's did fine too. So did the Betty. It just felt weird. Don't really know why. Their stats were also pretty solid and consistent. I don't really know what to put it down to because the talent was definitely working, the kit was definitely working, and so was the build for sure. Everything was, you know, pulling weight and feeling super effective. But for some reason, I guess maybe just the way I was playing wasn't really clicking right. And it felt kind of weird. Even though at the end, we were making a massive difference. Zim was super strong there. I didn't feel like it most of the time. I think it was just the CC. That's my guess. All right, so for game two, TDM Throne, Andro, Tyra, Ray, and Vora sort of similar on their side. Another Ray, but then a Ceres, Koga, Omen, and Andro. Probably going to go for Smolder here. Even though we have a Ray, I think this makes the most sense so we can do a little bit better instead of the Yomi. And then, yeah, the same setup. Going to go Armor Plating and Life Rip to start. We've got Extension, Relentless, Darkstalk, and Mercy Kill, Soul Collect, Extension, Blood Reap, Everyone Dies, and God's There. I feel like Life Rip on Zin is weirdly useful just for the timers and stuff. Although I don't think you really need it. You're probably better off going for other stuff. Uh, just for the way I play them specifically, 60% Life Rip uh, when you get it max is kind of crazy on any character. Am I dead to that? Yes, Omen Nog. I need to save the F. If I use the F, I'm just dead to that grip every time. But yeah, I also could just use the billow to counter it, I suppose. We'll go into the billow. There we go, nice. So if I just save the billow, we're, we're chilling, especially with the reset. Uh, we should be fine. Hits here on the race. You should be the focus, even though we're a flanker and the games are messy. Uh, focusing the healer down is still a good idea. We'll push in. There's a Q. What am I doing? I don't know how I'm not dead yet. Uh, there's a counter. Um, they didn't even hit that. Okay, that definitely wasn't on purpose. My movement just kind of worked. My spin did not, though. This is definitely a messy one. Big F there. Or hit, I mean, not F. Well, the F was good too. What am I saying? I tried to get the last little hit out, but the timing on that was terrible. My Zin timing uh, could definitely do with a little bit of practice. More hits. There's a big spin. Just, uh, yeah, get rid of the raid. There we go. My commentary is definitely lagged at the moment. I'm going to go 
for the ultimate, because when else are we going to pop it? Couldn't even finish her off. Finish off the Koga. He's going for the ultimate. Okay, right click for a tiny bit of speed and finish him off. There we go. Don't have either of my like, abilities up here to get out of the omen grab, so I need to play kind of carefully. I guess now we can spin in and save the billow. Yep, there we go. Just counter it. I think that's a better counter than the F, to be honest, for sure. He's gone. We also get it reset, so that's nice. We'll spin through, finish him off. Well done, team. We're shredding them, actually, kind of. Starting to think it's just a Zin thing to be super effective and super annoying for the enemy team, but just to not really feel like you're doing that crazy, even though you are, because Zin is just, you know, that sort of character, as I've talked about a ton. Even though I want to see more of him, he is very annoying, and very effectively so. You have so much of your kit just dedicated to being annoying. Like, self-heal, immunity, movement, more immunity. I don't know what Viserys is trying to do. She's just gone. We'll spin over. I got the ultimate. I guess we can try and do something. I'm trying to get out of the counter to Q, but they're not hitting me, so I can't do it. Pretty sure that's the second time my counter has got me killed. That ult didn't land, but uh, yeah, being in the counter means I can't use my billow, so I'm actually just going to die to that omen grab if he does it like that. Uh, there's a counter again. I landed that, but the ray damage mitigation thing. I always don't have a name back at the top of my head to label that as. There goes the omen. This is a very, very hectic one, but we did kind of shred him. I really just wish we had a little bit of CC that would make it a lot easier. What am I doing? I was aiming for the Koga. Just set myself off the map. Don't know what I'm doing. Just getting big hits. That's an ult from the Koga. We're in the queue. We're fine. The ray's on like nothing. Counter hit. Is that going to be enough? No. Spin. Can we finish her off here? One more tap. For some reason, I thought she would maybe spin and hit me. No. Obviously, the counter was on the trigger for getting hit from like the other side but there we go victory a super hectic tdm but it really did work to show off sort of what i was saying in the first game where we were also super effective there i didn't have as many kills but we assisted a crazy amount our damage is really high we somehow started highest damage that game stats wise overall though everyone's pretty consistent nothing to really point out and that is where i'm gonna leave it a bit of a fast sort of turbo zin video but i'm really happy with how it turned out this was pretty much exactly what i wanted for the showcase for him there's not any characters that i can think of right now off the top of my head that i don't like going against because i see them too much and they're too annoying maybe fernando which for a while was definitely a little bit too much but i would say right now at the moment no one is too annoying Aside from maybe the Ying, but you know, all the healers and stuff are being moved around. I imagine after the update, there might be a few healers that are too good or way too bad. And a uh, Buck, maybe at the moment with the reset, he's playing too crazy, can be a pain. Which is not that many characters when you think about how many options there are here. The fact that only a couple of them kind of get on my nerves a tiny bit. Yeah, it's fine. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that though down in the comments as well. Who annoys you on the roster if you see them too much? Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying on the way to the end. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.